Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your November 2022 monthly reading. This is going to be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For whenever you come across this reading, please do note it is still relevant to your situation. It is general, so please take what resonates, leave behind simply what does not. Feel free to check your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for additional messages for you or the person that you are most connected with or thinking of this time. If you are unsure, unaware what your other planetary placements are, there is a link in my description box to a free natal calculator that can help you suss out that information. My beautiful Virgos, this is just a quick reminder that this reading is for love and romantic partnerships and relationships. If you're looking for something more general, please find a different video at this time. That being stated, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. Virgo, today we're going to take a look. We're going to start out with your overall energy and see how you're showing up at this time. All right, Virgo, we have the Five of Pentacles. So this is a feeling of loss, whether this is financial or emotional loss. This is definitely something that could have already happened to you, be happening now, be happening in the future. We're all in different timelines, but this is feeling rejection, left out in the cold, feeling alone and abandoned in a situation, feeling the emotional loss of someone or something. That is how you are coming through at this moment in time. Some of you, this is a feeling about being something being ripped away from you as well. Let's see what's going on in your subconscious or hidden energy. This could be what's going on within you or around you. Yeah. So the message here with the strength and the seven of pentacles could be connecting with the Leo for some of you is you're trying to be brave. You're trying to be strong through the situation and hold on. You're waiting for something to come around waiting for a new chance. This is a period of evaluation for you where you're looking at where you invested, where it grew, where it didn't grow. But this is you kind of holding on and waiting. Some of you could be waiting in the return of this person that you, this feeling that you've lost here. For others of you, you're just trying to hold on and kind of be strong as you go through the cycle, the journey of this, this situation to kind of just get through those feelings. What is beautiful at the bottom of the deck is the fool telling me that there's a new opportunity that is coming towards you that's going to require you to take an action. It's going to require you to take action. It's going to require you to take a leap of faith, not knowing how it's going to turn out, not knowing any of the particulars in the situation is going to call for you to do something kind of radical because the stress, the burden, it's time to lay that down. It's completed. There's nothing more to grow or learn in that situation. So now it's time for something new. And there is a new opportunity heading your way. Some of you, this could be a cancer that you are connecting with. But for others of you, this is about moving forward, having a victory, going after what you truly want and desire. This is an opportunity for that to move away from heartbreak and pain. But again, it's going to require a giant leap of faith. So let's take a look at your person, the person that you have most on your mind at this time. It could be somebody that you've already connected with in a previous connection, connecting with now or connecting with in the future, how is Virgo's person currently showing up? All right, they're coming through as the King of Pentacles. Uh, that's pretty strong energy. Some of you could be connecting with a fellow Earth sign, a Taurus, a Capricorn, a another fellow Virgo. But this is somebody who is steady. If this is somebody who is financially secure and they're ready for a long-term commitment, this is somebody who's showing up as a king. Now, they may not be ever flowery. They may, may not know exactly how they feel about you at this time because they're holding that, they're guarding that close to their chest. But this is somebody who is reliable. And you're, it's time to make a judgment call in this situation. Let's see what's showing up in their hidden subconscious energy. What's showing up in Virgo's person's subconscious energy or hidden energy at this time? All right, the Eight of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. All right. With the King of Swords, with the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and the Two of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Interesting. So for some of you, this was somebody who previously walked away from something that they were previously very much invested in and they were trying to build. For some of you, this is going to be a commitment, a marriage, a partnership with the Queen of Swords. This could indicate that they're divorced for some of you. But this person had to make a, a clear and decisive decision about what they truly wanted. And they walked away from anything that wasn't serving them so that they can build. They're in the process of wanting to build a life that they can be proud of, the life that they desire. They want to build that with somebody. They're walking, they are walking away right now from any energy that's not serving that purpose. They are cold and detached. 
but what they're striving for is a complete emotional bliss and happiness within a true partnership. Very interesting energy. So let's see what the shared energy is between you and this person. Some of you, they had to walk away from a previous connection because of third party. The lovers, yeah. There is definitely love present or the potential for love to happen and bloom here. Yeah, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the King of Cups. This is a, this is, for some of you, this is a very soulmated, twin flame, right for you kind of connection. There's a lot of love. There's definitely effort and intention to be put in here. The lovers is very strong energy. This is about choosing love. Absolutely positively choosing love. So what is the advice or guidance for my beautiful Virgos moving forward or any additional information that they need to know about this connection? Hmm. Very nice. The Ten of Swords. The Four of Wands with the sun at the bottom of the deck. This advice and guidance is just beautiful. Ace of Swords. Three of Swords. The, again, Chariot with the Page of Pentacles. Or the Ace of Pentacles, excuse me. Virgo, the message here is you went through, both of you have gone through a very painful harsh, incredibly difficult ending with this Ten of Swords, okay? This is nothing pleasant. This is nothing beautiful. This is absolutely heartbreaking. Both of you have gone through that in your lifetime. Some of you very recently. You're getting clarity on this betrayal, on this heartbreak, on this pain, because this was the catalyst that brought the two of you together you have the potential for a long-term, steady, beautiful connection being built from the ground up in a very sturdy, very solid connection. You're building the foundation right now. You have the potential for pure happiness here. Leo energy. Again, this is an opportunity for you to move forward and have victory. So the advice and guidance is get clarity. See the heartbreak for what it was. It was the catalyst to bring you to this connection, to this partnership, to this beautiful beginning to build something solid from true, this opportunity to align your forces into one solid power couple and be able to move this forward. And your, your goal, your ending is pure happiness and joy. This is the happiest card in the tarot, and that is your ending card. That is your destiny. It's laying down the burdens. You've already learned everything you can from this past situation. Now requires a leap of faith. And that leap of faith will bring you victory. I love this message. It's very concise and straight to the point. Uh, for my Virgos, if you are doubting your situation, if you are doubting this person, uh, there's a strong connection between you. And yes, you both have been through some horrible pain and painful situations, but it's been the catalyst that is bringing you together. This person is ready to build. They're looking for stability. They're long looking for a long-term partner. You've been patiently waiting and evaluating and holding on after this this emotional loss. And now the, the energy between you is unbelievable chemistry. Lots of love here showing up. This is your person. And you have the ability to build that life that you've always dreamed of. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, leading to your ultimate happiness. It's beautiful. I cannot say that enough. All right, let's take a look at. The zodiac signs that are most dominant to least dominant in your energy at this time. So this is going to be the signs that are showing up for you. Now, as if they're going to draw all 12 signs, now the first six are the most dominant. This is what's closer to happening now. Coming more into fruition, coming into unionship. Those that are further out, we've got a little bit more work to do. So first sign out, we have Gemini. Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius,
Virgo, your own energy there. You may be connecting with fellow Virgo. Pisces. So that is the dominant six that's closer to the union ship. Gemini, Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces. Then we have Capricorn. Aries. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Cancer. All right, guys, that is all I have. Oh, nope, I'm sorry. I almost jumped ahead. Let's go ahead and pull your Oracle message, your advice, and your guidance. We are going to be taking a look at your Oracle message, your relationship message, your prosperity message, and your protection message. Virgo is simply this. All the messages can resonate with you, or one will maybe stick out more than the others. Please take the message that is really calling to you. Use your intuition and know which one really resonates. If they all resonate, then they, all the messages were pertaining to you and your situation. If only one does, that's okay too. All right, so we have Blessed coming through, card number 22, a master number. Which I'm not surprised seeing the lovers here in the Two of Cups. We have them blessed. So the Oracle message here is there are moments in life when out of the blue it seems that everything has been orchestrated by divine intervention. You feel blessed <clears throat> in ways that are difficult to express. It's as if the Red Sea parts in front of you and events come together to banish your troubles easily and naturally. You know, deep down, you did not deserve any of it, and yet here you are. This is one of those times. Let awe and gratitude for all your blessings guide you now. What did I say? Everything was orchestrated. This, this, the heartbreak, the pain was your catalyst. Relationship message. You are moving towards a deepening of intimacy and a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to make this connection. This union blessed by the divine will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy within yourself and spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. Wow. Prosperity message. Unexpected windfalls and good fortune come your way now. You're in a phase where any difficulties or obstacles that have stymied your success seem to disappear on their own. Be ready to receive. The windows of opportunity will open wide. Accept the blessings given to you now and don't forget to share them. And your protection message. Humility is called for now as grace is, un, is an unearned gift. You didn't gain this by your own desires or actions. To be who you need to be, you can no longer do what you did. In a way, you have hit rock bottom. And what is required now is nothing less than total surrender. Then you will be blessed. So some of you that are further out here, Kind of need to get to that place of gratitude, which I know is very hard, and to understand that heartbreak, really get that ace of swords, see that clarity, why these things happen the way they did, what parts you played, what parts they played. It's about that seven of pentacles. It's about that self-evaluation. It's taking a look at where you invested your time, your money, yourself, your energy, where you didn't, what grew, and what didn't, what worked, what did not work. It's really getting to that place so that this beautiful love can be brought into you. You know what the reward is for the hard work now. All right, guys, that is all I have for you at this time. I hope this gave you some clarity and wisdom into your situation. I hope it brightened your day. Please be sure to smash that like button. This is a message that all Virgos really do need to see. So if you could, just smash that like button. If you have not subscribed, please do so. We would love to have you part of the Casarian Soul family. And last but not least, remember to have a beautiful day. Live in light and love always. I will see you, Virgo, in your next reading. Namaste. Bye for now.